What up guys, coming at you guys with another video here to talk about Highland versus uh, Charlo. The first night of the televised fight for Adrian Broner and Mikey Garcia. But if you haven't already, go ahead and check out that video first or come back or do whatever you want. But yo, Highland was just out of it. Um, You know, since the first round he was looking kind of suspect with uh, his foot movement i was like yo what the fuck's up with this guy um his foot movement it looks like uh he could barely walk and then i guess you know towards the uh when they told charlo uh when they gave him the victory and he was about to uh give his victory speech and whatever post fight uh they said that he had an injury and that um he initially had tape wrapped around but the commission wouldn't allow it and yo man i don't that's kind of crazy how he sucks uh, continued to fight i guess you know he was looking for a payday honestly in my opinion you know he was the wbc mandatory for what like two years uh definitely this would be easy work for triple g or canelo cherry pick basically and charlo you know you gotta charlo he's a good fighter he was a good fighter at 154 He's going to be a good fighter at 160 and, you know, technically, even if this wasn't a eliminator, you could technically still, um, you know, kind of slide, let Charlo slide, let him take a tuna because he did face uh, Trout and then he faced uh, J-Rock Williams and he's moving up in weight to 160. And, you know, that was a good fight. I will definitely... I would love to see him versus Triple G. However, though, you guys know that Triple G is fighting Canelo. And if Triple G fights, uh, I mean, if Triple G wins, then later down the road, I would love to see that fight. However, if Canelo wins, Canelo has already made it clear that he will not accept the WBC belt. So that, you know, that puts Charlo in a kind of weird situation. But honestly, right now, I would love to see David Lemieux versus uh, Charlo or definitely uh David Lemieux, or not, uh, Daniel Jacobs versus Charlo, I'm sure that's a fight that is gonna happen, uh, later down the road, you know, they're both with PBC, Al Heyman, most likely it would happen in, uh, Brooklyn too, over there at the Barclays, but, yo, man, Highland, he did his, you know, he, he tried to survive in there, he did his thing, Charlo's the first person to knock, uh, Highland out, basically, and just definitely, you know, he did the same thing like he always does. Jab, one-twos, counters, uppercuts, side steps. And, you know, that was, I, I really like the way um Charlo fights. Both both Charlos. But um definitely, in my opinion, I think this Charlo is the better out of the brothers. But, you know, I would love to see his brother unify with her. Or... Technically, they could fight. He could fight Lara because he's not training with uh shields anymore but you know that'd be kind of risky who has a wbo um shit isn't uh kodo fighting for the wbo i i believe kodo and kamagai i believe that's for the wbo could be mistaken or was liam smith uh, in the eliminator or something like that but i forgot but yo that would be a pretty dope fight go ahead and uh, watch all my other videos if you haven't if you haven't already peace